<coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of morning throat here. Blech. Anyway, hi, I'm Trixie, semi-retired YouTuber. However, I wanted to make a video because I'm at a very special event. I am at a hotel in Allentown, PA, that's Pennsylvania, if you don't know, because I don't know where you're watching from, but I'm in Allentown, PA, and I am going to the Horror Sideshow Market. Now, that is the very first horror convention held in Pennsylvania in 2021, and I am so excited. So, we're going to see who's there, we're going to see what swag they're selling, hopefully make some friends, just walk around and see what's what. First, though, I want to show you my hotel room, because my hotel room is really nice. Check this out. See, here's the thing. I didn't look how big this room was when I booked it, so it's huge. Like, look, over here, there's my bed. There's my bed, right? But then I also have a living room. And if you come around the corner here, I have an entire kitchen. Cool, right? I know it's so big for just one person, and I admit that's my fault. I did not look into that, but it's so nice. I got my, I had my morning coffee here. You got an ice maker in here. Oh, it's so neat. Now I got to show you this sign. It's really caught my attention. It says, uh, "Notice the industrial building at the rear of the hotel emits a flame. This is a normal occurrence." There's no need to notify the front desk or local authorities. Now, I've been trying to figure out what they're talking about here. So let's go look out the window here. I have to say I'm a little disappointed because I don't see any buildings emitting a flame. Nor did I yesterday. That one's got, that one kind of puffs out smoke. Is that, is that throwing people? I don't know. I expected to see like this, whoa, this like, whoa, big burst of flame coming out of someone's roof. No. Sadly, no. But yeah, nice big room here. And oh, hello, look at that. That's a tricksy hot. Kind of made me paranoid because every which way you go in here, there's mirrors, right? I'm like, oh my gosh, is someone, is someone spying? Is someone looking at Trixie? And Okay, so let me tell you this trick I learned. I don't know if this is true, but I heard this trick years ago. Like, if you want to see something as a two-way mirror, what you do is you take your thumbnail here. Oh, this nail's pointy, so let me use that. And you put it against the mirror. See how there's like a gap where I don't like really touch the reflection of my nail? That means this isn't a two-way mirror because if it was, my uh, my nail would touch and it doesn't. There is a gap in the middle. Yeah, again, I don't know if that's true or not, but it is very interesting. It, it does make me feel a little better though. Oh, and believe me, I've been doing that nail trick on all these mirrors here, all of them. I went around and checked like James Bond, see if I'm being spied on, because I'll tell you what, I don't want anyone watching Trixie in a hotel room because I walk around in the buff. And this, I like this. I've never had a bathroom in a hotel room with one of these. I don't have a bathtub, but I do have one of these like walk-in showers here, the slidey door. And I did get to thinking like, let's flip this around. I did get to thinking like, has any, oh, hello. Has anyone ever made a horror movie where like someone got trapped in one of these? Like, cause I was inside it and it was shot. And I'm like, well, what if I couldn't get that open? Like, what if this was just filling up with water, right? I bet that's been done. I gotta look to see if that's been done. You know, I always feel bad for the people who paint these things. Like, imagine this was like your life's work and your painting ended up hanging over a hotel toilet. Wait, I'll tell you what though, this nice big room, I don't think I wanna leave. I think I'm gonna move in here. I'm gonna take all these paintings and stuff down and move my record collection in here. I have to say though, I keep hearing something beeping or buzzing. I thought it was my phone at first and it's totally not like, what if my room is bugged? What kind of From Russia With Love shit is this? You know what I was thinking? Maybe I should like move stuff and do like the Dan Bell thing where like he moves the couches and stuff and sees if there's any like junk hidden under them. Oh, let's do that, let's do that. I bet under this couch. I bet there's something. <gasps> there's a something, what's this? What's, I probably shouldn't be touching junk in this time but I'm gonna I'll wash my hands. This is, that's part of a balloon. That's odd, that's that's literally a, like a torn off part of a blue balloon. Now you can't see because I don't have a light, but there's something shiny behind the TV. Let me see if I can grab it. It's, it's an Airheads, it's just an Airheads. And you know what, no, I'm not eating that. 
I'm not eating that. That can go. That You know what? I will keep the room tidy. I will put that in the trash can. Okay, enough of the room because I want to get to Horror Sideshow. That's a few minutes up the road. So, let's get ready for the real fun stuff. Oh, I can't wait. Let's do it. It's go time. I've been watching a lot of Reno 911 lately. You'll have to forgive me.